Hey guys, today I'm doing another Patreon request and this one is for Jonas. He wants to know how I figure out songs. He chose Tesseract Exile to use as a musical example, but I'll throw in two more from Periphery and Animals as Leaders. Now there are many ways out there to transcribe and figure out songs and I've gone through a lot of methods to finally come up with my step-by-step -step method which has allowed me to quickly and accurately transcribe songs. The key to using this method is you must first understand that every rhythmic piece of music, every rhythm, is just a collection of hits and spaces. Hits being where an instrument plays a note, and spaces are the cracks in between those hits. This might seem trifle, but trust me when I say this super basic concept is the key to figuring out songs. With that in mind, on a piece of paper, draw little dots representing this micro pulse. Step 2 is to listen for the main rhythmic motif, the series of hits, the most obviously repeating pattern. It is usually some sort of guitar riff in progressive metal music. So in the case of Exile, it's clearly the Gent riff. Now you can fill in the hits across the grid you just drew, taking note of the spaces between the hits. Is it 1, 2 or 3 dot spacing for example? Here's where it speeds up dramatically once you have the rhythmic grid down. Just draw out what instruments plays the hits, in this case, bass drum. Now how about the snare drum? There doesn't seem to be a pattern to the snare drum, and it's mostly playing in between the hits, but more on this later. What is the right hand doing and what is the cymbal work? It's playing every fourth space, which turns out to be quarters, and there's a left foot hi-hat every second space as well. Next are the embellishments, usually ghost notes which almost always go in the spaces between the hits. Lastly, figuring out the time signature and subdivision is easy with this. Just divide the simplest rhythm, the right hand symbol. It can be divided by 4 to give you 3 bars of 4-4, four four, or 3 to give you 4 bars of 3-4, it doesn't really matter which one here. Now let's use the method on the second part of the intro. The motif, grid, bass drum, snare drum, embellishments are all the same. So we only need to figure out the new right hand cymbal rhythm, which is a spacing of 3. Hey, isn't that overriding or metric modulation? Suddenly, the snare pattern makes more sense here as it is a half-time backbeat in triplets. All that is left is to try out your handiwork.
Here's another example using peripheries, the bad thing. Draw your micro pulse grid. Find out the main motive. Fill in the hits. Fill in what place the hits. Fill in the left hand or snare. Symbol work or right hand. Embellishments usually in the cracks. And lastly, the time signature and subdivisions are revealed. Let's apply this method to an Animals as Leaders song, Living Court. Of course, you can use a software to slow down the songs to make this easier for yourself. I also do not want to slow down the track too much because it warps the transients and makes it harder for me to hear the embellishments and sometimes they get lost completely. The advantages of using this method are huge. By figuring out the main rhythmic motif in the band, this lets you learn which instruments are working together and how they are working together. This workflow will help you to transcribe faster without slowing a track down too much or rewinding and repeating it. You can better appreciate the embellishments that add spice to the main motif and come up with your own. Metric modulation suddenly seems clearer as you realize the rhythmic grid is the same and you only change the spaces between some hits. So how about you? How do you go about figuring out and transcribing your songs? I'd like to know in the comments below. I really hope this video will help boost your transcription skills and make it easier for you to figure out stuff. Thank you for watching and thank you to all my patrons. Your support has been so invaluable these past 6 months. I hope to bring even more to you in the next year. Happy holidays and have a Merry Christmas.